Hello everyone in here, welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. As it is tradition on this channel, every two weeks I film a video where I show you and showcase all the changes that have occurred in the LEGO Hogwarts that I've been doing for more than two years now. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, as it is obvious to you by seeing this footage, this part here is now finished. So I did a whole foyer transition from over here to the roof, including all the supports for the removable roof hat. But before I did that, actually, I was uh, doing some other things, which I will show you in a moment. Over here, this piece, which is over there, I have not placed simply because I would like to make the roof hat first seeing as it will be a bit different, longer and a little bit not so wide as the difference between this roof section now and before is that I've added one row of brick here mainly due to the reason for these windows to be slightly lifted by a little idea so there is some breathing space between here and the beginning of the window the lower section i thought that was a little bit better other than the windows being shoved inside uh, and also it is a little bit well more accurate to what the actual uh, hogwarts castle is which means that the roof hat over here is going to be two studs um, thinner but yeah this is what I'm going to focus on next time over here the whole table is pretty much clean of all the necessary pieces which have been placed over here so I'm going to take this apart as the spacing here is going to be different obviously and all sorts of other things are going to be slightly different hopefully it shouldn't take a long time but that's for the next update but yeah, I would like to see how this roof hat will correspond with everything. And then I will build this, this mirroring piece here. Here is the mills plate of the foyer, removed from the foyer section itself. I modified this first, that's what I initially did, because the knights were a bit too high up. I wanted to lower this whole section here, so it kind of fits with the whole height of the uh, arches and all the supports that are done. So I lowered it a little bit by I believe two bricks. So the knights are now a little bit lower. They were up to here, which was a little bit more accurate, but it had to be done. So it's a concession I was willing to make. Then what I did do is these banners in this pattern here, they were a little bit shoved into the section that is just above the gates of the great hall and you have to keep in mind that when you look from here from the back side and you remove this section to look inside the great hall you would see this and over here would be the candles so i made sure to move and reposition the banners in this thing so they are right between this space leaving the candles over here which is a lot better and i'm going to show you how that looks right now often i wish i had a helper while filming these videos as another pair of hands would do wonders for my quality anyway here it is with this section removed so this is what i meant when you look you have the banners you have that pattern on the wall and right above it you have the candles and this way everything is nicely positioned there is some breathing space and it overall looks a lot better in comparison to what it was before just imagine that dark uh, sorry this um, reddish brown pattern and the banners being two to three studs lower it was a lot worse but this actually is quite satisfactory after that whole venture was over and done with I was thinking of how exactly to do over here and strengthen the 
places where the two big walls are connected. Same time to lift them at the appropriate height and also to really make sure that it would accommodate the roof hat. And I basically, well, follow the same thing. As you can see, the pattern is brick slope. Over here where the brick is, we're gonna split into three plates. As you know, three plates are one brick. Have a row of plate, then another row of uh, tile, and then the plate that is the groundwork for the roof hat is going to be the third piece, which all put together will be one brick. So the whole pattern will be the same. Now you see here that I have left some this corridor over here on both sides and some places have uh, tiling some don'ts because i want it to be in tan and i don't have these right now they're in the mail but it will be covered so basically all this whole corridor here is free and that will be because the lights will be wired on the base of the um roof hat and the lights will come over here and be able to illuminate unlike before before we had, well, a lot of other things. If you remember these windows, they were covered with brick in the back. Now, as you can see over, over here, they are, they are not. So the light will come through here when everything is put together. And also this whole section here, the foyer had no lights, but now as this will be one piece, we'll be able to give lights to this section as well and this at the same time what the roof hat will look like is basically a lights being wired on the bottom of the plate and then at some point there will be a hole probably over here or or this side where the lights will go inside the roof as it was before illuminating the roof hat in the remaining rows of windows over here the wiring is quite long so i believe it will be quite sufficient. Uh, all that it remains really is for me to design it in a way so it's sturdy and the cables are not really uh, under any pressure and it's easy to switch it on and off basically. So after I did all that I wanted really to well I had to experiment a lot with this section here where the foyer is. I've removed the gates which is another great feature of the recently changed gray hole because now I can make all these great pictures over here and I, if I want to change something, I can even reach here. And if it's still not sufficient, I can simply remove this as it's on a nose plate or something like a nose plate. We only have two plates here, not a brick, but I digress. So what I was trying to do really is to have these two walls as this thing is its all separate module, the foyer, which means that this wall here and this wall over here, since this here is not connected to either wall like it was before, it means that the connection between this and this needs to be sturdy. And that's what I was experimenting with and doing my best to achieve as not only do we need to achieve this sturdiness, it needs to follow the same pattern here. So I played a lot with um, slopes over here and then moved to arches. Now you would ask, why is there a hole here and respectively on this side? Well, because once again, we have one window over here and if I had closed it off, we would have no lights here, which for many it would be fine, but for me it is not. I want all the lights, uh, all the windows to be illuminated. And uh, when you look from here, it's not really uh, that big of a deal. And also, you can always place something here. I'm planning to place some Easter eggs here, just something just to, whenever you look from here and you really look into it, it doesn't stick out so much, but at the same time, this whole section here is free for the light to come through the window. And yeah, over here, 
basically follow the same pattern as inside the great hall with these arches and connected them with Technic bricks and a lot of other bricks over here and this is quite sturdy will support the heavy section of the roof hat and also connects these two walls very nicely now the thing that i was pretty much most worried about was the removable floor over here because this needs to be removable even after this is whole thing is placed. Which is why I have done it in such a way. I have intentionally left these reddish brown sides here. And now let's pull it slightly. And there you go. We have tiled over here this whole section. So it, when you remove it, and hopefully I will not drop it with my one free hand. It looks like this. And it fits over here like a puzzle. And whenever you want to do something over here, you can just remove it. And at the same time, when it's placed, it just kind of... fits there quite beautiful and yeah these are not going to be in this color they're going to be all tan like over here and it will be as if this is a part of the whole construction so i'm really glad that, that worked out with this update i would say that we're getting very very close to what is going to be the end of this rebuild as around two months ago, I took everything apart here and I had reached basically this stage with the texture and everything else. And I decided, well, it could be better and I'm not going to be afraid to take it apart and do it all, all over again. So throughout these two months, really, all these changes have occurred and I'm pretty pleased of the result, even though we're still not quite there. Now, over here, the texture needs to be applied as it is here. Here we don't have the pyramids, there's a amount of pyramids, they're in the mail. And this whole texture here where it's done needs to be applied over here in the back. And it needs to be applied on this whole side over here. Over here, we'll have the side building, that's why it's left without texture to be covered. And that's why I have not really done anything here. Um, I have done the roof as a continuation of, ev of everything. But in the end, I'll probably have to change a little bit here and here as the side building roof kind of goes into the roof of the Great Hall, as I'm sure you remember from when this whole thing was implemented. But seeing as we have to take this apart and do some roof shenanigans, I decided just to build it up to here and leave it for now and now we can easily just apply the doors which again with one hand i can't really grab there we go now i'm thinking about adding a clip on the top here on the bottom we have these studs here where the actual module is possessed but it is positioned but over here i kind of don't like it because these big builds it, they really don't align 100 percent well unless there is some pressure somewhere so i'm planning to place maybe a clip here or something else just to make them removable still but at the same time for them to be uh really to help to align into position now I'll try to place the second one and I'm doing this right now just to show you that I really wanted this over here not only to be usable in a nice way and have a function but also when you open the gates here 
and you look inside, I want the knife to be visible. So basically this is the right height. So it doesn't hide the knights. And at the same time you see the arches. So it really looks like a real building and has some aesthetics to it. One thing that I would like to mention is when you remove this whole foyer module, and hopefully if you will not, these gates here, they're not, they can fall easily as I'm moving this. Over here, see, as the knights are now lower, they were up here before, now because we have these columns you can see through and i don't like that so there are two ways to fix that one of them get the knights up again which doesn't work right now so that's out of the way um, and the other one thing would be to replace these columns here with something else but here the detailing really says that there should be these columns. That's why they're there. It's uh, the castle itself where the doors are. We have these elements. So yeah, I will see exactly how I'll approach that. I really don't like leaving it like this as both knights are visible through the columns that's just not right. One would say that maybe you could place a piece of fabric here or something, uh, some other non-lego ways to go around it some would say that maybe i should even paint it but those people well they are not <laughs> their ways are not for me let's say it like that so i am overall pretty pretty confident of how this will look again the hats here of the columns are not set i've done one like this the rest like this i'm thinking of maybe removing this three by three completely still trying to explore what to do with this but in the end most likely at least for the time being i will um, settle on this variant here with these slopes with this pyramid one row of plate and this in this color instead of well, instead of this, which is what I was using before, but I don't like it anymore. The potential problems. First of all, over here, you could notice that I've used this one by one brick with only one snot on the side. I think I mentioned before once in a previous video that I want these to be one by one brick with snot on all four sides. Such a piece in such well, with in tan in this color does exist. However, it's a very old piece. What does that mean? It means that it was not been it hasn't been used in a set for the last ten years or so, maybe more. I can't remember. Uh, which means that it's not in production. Which means that if I want to use that piece, I'll have to buy it used pieces from all over the world safe to say that one such piece costs about a euro a piece so seeing as i'll need i don't know like 100 of these 150 200 to cover all these upper sections on both sides it's going to be quite a costly venture so for the time being until i figure a good way to solve that it's going to be with only one snot except the ones on the corner here. And that's one thing. And then remember about this piece here, which I used to turn the direction of the studs 180 degrees. Well, I will, this piece again does exist in TAM, but again, very old and um, it's, probably even more expensive to do that, but I will not leave them in reddish brown. I have ordered quite a few in dark tan, which is still not tan, but it might even add some nice 
spice to the whole thing as we have some dark tan here and there. So I'll see what it looks like once the, those pieces arrive as I bought them very cheaply and might even stay in dark tan. I don't know uh, if I don't like it in dark tan or I think in tan it would look better. I will strive to get the pieces in tan eventually. Maybe a new set will come at some point uh, where those pieces are in that color, referring to this piece and the brick piece with the force knots. And those pieces will be available again for a decent price. Or I will just find a way to buy all the old pieces without, well, breaking my wallet. Either way, it's something to uh, that I need to keep an eye on in order to improve. So for the time being, looking from here, the tower will look fine. But if you look from the side, uh oh, no texture here. But it will be like this for now. So as I am filming this video and as you're watching this, I'll probably already be working on the roof hat. That's what I'm, I'll be doing. And if there is time, I will do some improvements indoors in the interior, probably around the teacher's table, which was something that I was planning to do for this video, but it just was just no time for that. And hopefully next time you'll be able to see the whole roof hat done with this cover here, mirroring this one. And uh, who knows? Hopefully I will have enough time to wire all the lights so we can see this whole section lit up with all the windows over here, the nice window frames and all the little windows here in the roof lit up in the, with the same light with the help of these trans clear, well not trans clear, trans orange bricks to really give this warm uh, glow fiery glow to the light and yeah I am thinking that after the next update I would have reached this point where we were two months ago it will be a whole separate video where I will apply the texture everywhere I have ordered thousands of these one by ones in pan and in dark tan and pyramid shapes and also these quarter pieces so a lot of labor and application of these will commence once they arrive we know where exactly that will be but in the coming updates for sure and then we'll have this whole thing done and after that it's the courtyard this whole new style of the grey hole will have to be applied there which shouldn't really matter too much I only have a few questions for uh, this side here over here it should be very easy to apply the whole dimensions will not change at least right now the plan is for them not to change so that's what is in the near future once again I would like to thank you for watching my videos. Remember that every like and every comment really helps my channel to grow. So if you have any thoughts, negative or positive, doesn't matter to me. Any feedback is always welcome. Please comment below, give me a like, share with your friends, subscribe. If that's your thing, if you want to follow this whole project that's been going for over two years now. And yeah, I hope that all the things that I show you help to improve your own builds and bring some fun into your life. Thank you again for watching. I'm E and I'll see you again in the next two weeks as per usual. Stay healthy and bye for now.